Hello guys. Hope everyone had a great New Year's. I know I sure did. I've been uh, very busy and not getting nothing done. <laughs> Actually most of the time I spend my time here in the shop uh, during the holidays but this year I decided to spend a little more time with family and friends and that was well worth it and what I should have done. Well, anyway, uh, y'all know we've been trying to uh, come up with a way to uh, reprogram these little uh, RAM units in the ICOM 745, 751s, and so forth. And we had this thread here started on EEV blog. I'll leave a link down below. Click on the Show More tab to uh, if you want to follow this thread. But, you know, it goes on and on, and we looked at and discussed a lot of things, and some things weren't really relevant to the uh, the programming of it. But we did, you know, discover a few things, and uh, it got on in, and um, CJ is, going, is working on Arduino uh, project. He is actually building the RAM board on, on our breadboard. He has the, all the parts in. He's going to actually build this uh, RAM board on some breadboard so uh, he's working on the Duino and you know we just went on and on and on in this thing looking at it and uh, posted the schematic and tearing it down and a few other things you know just a lot of uh, running looking at the uh, way the board's done and just a lot of rambling you know I showed the video here of the uh, experiment part one so this will be part two, and uh, CJ just posted today that he's been out with the flu, so we hope he gets uh, feeling better and can get back in the swing of things. That flu is nasty. I know it's going around here also, but uh got real interesting when um, one thing I wanted to do was try to look at using my old programmer, which is DOS base. It's a uh, modular circuit technologies programmer but that thing just will not do the algorithm needed to uh, program this RAM module because of the voltage change and so forth excuse me because of the voltage change and so forth that has to uh, to happen you know it just isn't going to do it but you know up here is uh my old Windows 98 machine and I have a mouse for it somewhere and uh, we have been trying to uh, I've been trying to get this program here the uh, into CBU program up and running and I get nothing but errors so something in the old computer is not uh, something with the port it's just not configured right for the program I even have a uh, 3.1 machine um, running old DOS over there in the corner that I spent a day and a half on getting up and running to try to do this and you see here on the bench there's uh, several failed attempts at uh, trying to get these programmers to work on these machines and uh, you know it's just all prototyping and hand wired and uh, this one actually has an old uh, use an old printer cable and there is 25 wires in this cable so uh, we're going to use the ones that was needed but we get read errors you know this is the oldest programmer that I made back years ago that actually did read the chip and uh, was able to save the file but I can't even get it up and running on these computers so something about the uh, com, com port or the parallel port is not working right with this program and as you can see uh, <laughs> the bench is in a mess um, I mean it's just stuff scattered everywhere you know and I spent just about all week working on this program trying to uh, get it right but I'll show you the interesting stuff this nice fellow uh, high precision came up with this circuit board and what it is you know it's just 
two head of pins and a header to pro plug into a uh, programmer. And, uh, and he come up here and he posted this. So I went ahead this morning and made the board. And he came back and he reposted the uh, modified zip file because the uh, the way the files are in this program in this board is a little bit different. So uh, we got that done today and uh, I got the uh, unit built and it's just uh, you know just another prototype board hand hand wired uh, nothing fancy and I originally built this to go in my programmer and uh, it would not work in the new programmer because the pin so I just took another uh, socket and plugged into it so I can get it into this new programmer I got and the programmer is one of these uh, mini pro programmers uh, the TL866 Dave did a uh, a review on this a right good while ago but uh, the way this program uh, plugs in it just uh, sits in the pins and then lock it down and you can see why I had to uh, add this header pin because this wasn't built for this program but it's wired in the same way Now you guys remember this RAM board from the last video. This is the one that I um, actually soldered a, a battery in. I didn't take the time to make the uh, correct leads and stuff for it. And as you remember, it was completely dead. It did not work. Well, I'm going to pop this in here and uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, it's plugged in there. As you can see, this is, you know, it's very crude. Um, like I said, it was just thrown together. Um, you know just trying to do experiments I will end up making a proper um, etched out board that will plug in here and uh, maybe the uh, round board will be sitting off over here to the side like I say this is just experimental and uh, you know just trying to get this thing up and work running So here we are in the uh, TL866 program program, and we're going to go ahead and select his modified. This is the IC745 bin dot into CBU dash D bin. This is the uh, modified bin that High Precision had uh, made. We're going to leave it at binary, and we're going to hit OK. And uh, you can see we've got it plugged in. And then we're just going to go to uh, program. Program uh, uncheck code memory and hit program. Programming successful and the little yellow light flashed off and on. So now we want to cancel this. And we'll take our programming board out and pull the RAM module out of it. And we're going to stick it in this 745 over here. And as you can see, this uh, has no board in it. Take a good look at this. And I'll go ahead and get this stuck in. It's hard to do around the camera. Okay, I had the board plugged in. Zoom in on it. You can see it's the same board. Nothing's changed. Get the camera back. I'll turn it up on its edge. We'll turn the power on. Okay guys, my bad. <laughs> if you notice when I hit the uh, mode switch, nothing was happening. And that because this ribbon cable right here was not seated back 
in the uh, socket good when I pulled the other board out I had pulled that cable halfway out that worried me you know how it goes when you're doing stuff you know basically live I mean what you're seeing is what I'm seeing so uh, you know them little things come up no script no uh, you know test and, and then let's do a video it's just all straight off the video so you're seeing what I'm seeing and uh, now you can see the uh, mode selector now works so no problem at all The band's really in bad shape today. There's someone there talking there for a minute. And then disappeared like it with a lot strong signal. Well, they decided not to talk no more. Minus 24, that is cold. 12 degrees this morning here in the uh, Carolinas on the East Coast. All right, we'll run through all the bands. CWs are pumping, no problems at all. Quite a bit of stations in there today on 40 meters. I'm going to go to the voice band. Okay, so as you can see, uh, reprogramming the ICOM 745 RAM board is no longer an issue. It's a, <laughs> it's a done deal. I done programmed every dead board here in the shop this evening. I wanted to save that one uh, for the video, and you can see it programmed with no problem. So I'll put together some uh, more information and try to get some more uh, video out on this. Um, here in the near future I just wanted to throw this up because I mean all this kind of came down in the last 30 minutes of the day and was able to uh, get it done and a big thank you to the guys out on the uh, EEV plug um, especially high precision on this one he was able to uh, get us up and running you know like I say using this crew programming board and a mini pro TL 866 programmer which was a little bit of a mess to get up and running but <laughs> uh, my computer lay sideways so that little disc that they sent with it CD did not would not work in my computer and it took like four attempts to download 
before I found a good download that would uh, come up and work and then it was in uh, it was a rare file so I had to go in and install a uh, evaluation copy of WinWare just to uh, open the program up I did put it on my laptop that was no problem on the laptop was able to get it up and going on it but uh, yeah now we're up and running on this um, I'll go ahead and throw this in right quick I had a new company it's called um, Pavono and uh, they sent me this uh, little power supply it's the PS305H and uh, 305 means 30 volt 5 amp I will be doing a review on this later I do not have time to do it right now I've already started on the review but I've been busy on this 745 trying to get it going but I will tell you it's a nice little power supply it's a uh, switch mode it's light it has proper grounding in it um, it is missing a, a few things I would like to see but I'll go ahead and uh, you know discuss all that when I do the review on it I think you will like it I mean it's like a hundred nine dollars and it's on sale for like sixty nine dollars but it's seems to be a great little supply and I really needed one anyway for all these uh, projects I'm working on with pit kit and at mills and now Arduino platform so it's always good to have a uh, nice little regulated constant current um, constant voltage power supply so I'll leave a link to that below also leave a link below to the EEV blog where we're discussing this if y'all want to go through and uh, follow that and see how that thread looks and uh, maybe learn a few things okay so that's where we at right now we can program the IC 745 751s um, and you know the reason to do this I mean why not buy the PyX board or the, uh, the guy from overseas if you want to keep things original and keep originality then you know reprogramming these is, is a nice thing to be able to do um, or if you just you know want to you just order a replacement board be done with it and uh, you know what do you learn by doing that nothing <laughs> but how to install a board but uh, with this at least we're learning something you know about the um, program that to use and how also how we can uh, communicate with this board like I say you know sitting over there many failed attempts so yeah now we uh, we're up and going so now we can use this platform to uh, figure out a few things on getting the adreno stuff up and running anyway i hope you enjoyed it i know it's a quick little video but uh you know when success comes i just like to be able to share that anyway links down below and we'll catch you in a new next video so have a great new year